Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. My name's Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher, and today I'm going to teach you how to sing the Christmas song, AKA Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Now this is a total Christmas classic, and I hope you appreciate the ambiance. We finally decorated the house, <laughs> it took us a couple weeks but we did it. And I also wanna let you know that if you are a singer, you've been working on your high notes, but you've been coming across a little bit of difficulty with them, I made a three-day course just for you. It's actually an email course, so as soon as you sign up, you'll have day one waiting for you in your inbox, and you can sign up for that at singingwithlauren.com slash high notes. Let's get singing. Okay, so this song does get a little bit on the high side, but I chose the original key, which is E flat. So I wanna do a little bit of a warm up with you first. Let's do. Breathe. probably need a warm up too. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do an, one on ah and I'll tell you why. It's because every time we see chestnuts, we're going to be singing chestnuts ro roasting. Chestnuts roasting. That's what we can what's we keep going back to in this song, right? So, we're going to do ah and I want you to find that ah by saying father, ah. Ah. you're saying ah uh, breathe Too. Let's take another drink of water and we'll get singing. Okay, so let's go over the words first. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, Jack Frost nipping at your nose, Yuletide carols being sung by a choir, and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Okay, so that's the first part we're going to focus on. Now, like I mentioned before, we're going to be singing chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's a little bit more spoken. Jack Fra, Jack Frost nipping at your nose, pure O. 
Yuletide carols being sung by a qua do not go to the R. Choir. You go to the choir, you take a breath after that, go to the choir right before you go to the breath. So you're gonna go choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Okay, let's try that. Remember, vowels are so important. Keep going. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. You tied carols being sung by a choir. See how hard that one is? <laughs> Qua. Qua. Okay, so now you got choir. Now this next line, it has some accidentals in it, so it's a little bit um, tricky. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. I had a little bit of trouble that one with with that one myself. Let's try that uh, all together. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Feel that round O? Okay, how'd that guy? How'd that go for you guys? Pretty good, hopefully. If that part is challenging you, rewind this. 30 seconds and try keep trying that part. Now we go to everybody knows. Ah, uh, okay. So when you sing that um, uh, it's when we speak it, it's uh, right? Just the letter A. Um, when we sing it, we have to cheat that to an ah. Uh, and it happens, guess what? On the same note as chestnut. It's on the E flat, that high note, that higher note. Ah. Uh, so don't say everybody knows uh. Because what's going to happen? Your tongue's going to pull back and it's going to so totally close your throat. Right? So we're going to go. Everybody knows a turkey, a turkey. Turkey wasn't one of the other songs that we did. <laughs> Tacky. So we're really, we're, we really are morphing some of these vowels to a completely different vowel because it's just so much more singable. However, it still sounds very similar to the way it's supposed to sound. Okay, um, help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow. Don't go glow. Do not do it, that's a diphthong, glow. We'll find it hard to sleep tonight. Night can be a hard one because if you go to the I, your throat's going to close. Sleep tonight, okay? So let's take it one more time from, and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Even though that's kind of the last phrase, I think we'll all benefit from singing that one more time. And folks dressed up like Eskimos, everybody knows a turkey. They're so iconic, right? So we really want to make sure that they're being heard without giving too much emphasis to the consonants. So it's kind of like we're just sprinkling the cons consonants in and we're primarily focusing on the vowels. Okay, um, I think a difficult um, section in that is, oops, this went onto the organ setting. <laughs> we'll find it hard to tonight so make sure that you have on sleep that you're that you're right on that a flat okay now we're going to the next part they know that santa's on his way santa sa santa it's a little bit more difficult of a vowel 
but you wanna make sure that you're doing it right here. Santa is the same vowel as man, Santa. If you go Santa, it's not gonna go well for you, okay? Make sure that Santa is nice and bright where, where he likes to be up here. Santa on his way. He's loaded lots of toys. Another place where we're inserting an ah instead of a uh. He's loading lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. Open air. And every mother's child is gonna spy. Not spy, spy. You do go to the Y but not until you're, if you're breathing, you do it right before you're gonna breathe. If you're not gonna breathe, then go into the next section to see if you go, spy to see if reindeer, so that you're not singing spy, because that sounds weird, right? And the next place that happens on is fly. So to see if reindeer really know how to fly. I would sing that like this, fly and then I breathe. <laughs> Let's take it from there. They know that Santa's on his way. That's a difficult um, interval too. Let's do that. Let's just go up to there and stop on that D flat on Santa. They know that Santa. Do you hear that? That's a D flat. That is an accidental. So that is, if that hear, sounds weird to your ear, it's because that's a note that's not in the original key. Okay, so let's take that part one more time from they know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh from there. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. How did you do on that fly? Did you go fly -y or did you say fly? Okay, great. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to 92, although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Okay, so um, we're thinking about many times, many way, that's an open eh. You see how my mouth is going down, way. It's not going way, way. I'm also thinking, and so, ah, it's the same vowel. Every time you sing an E flat, you're singing on, a, on an ah vowel. And so, ah, I'm off. So when you have that high note, you wanna sing the ah, and you're almost gonna think that the m, mm, the am, um, belongs to the offering, right? So you're gonna say, so I'm offering. Do you see how that works? Let's try that one more time. One, two, three. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to 92. Okay, so one thing I want you to note is that I am breathing and so I'm breathing there to make that soft palate lift because you need, really need to have a lot of space ready to sing the I'm offering and it's difficult to sing it without enough space. So I'm breathing there and then I'm keeping that vertical space going for I'm offering this simple phrase. So let's try that one more time and we'll keep going this time. And to breathe. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to Okay, so obviously you can hold that long note out for as long as you want. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Holiday Cheer series. Please leave a comment below and tell me 
what if you like this song and what you're struggling with if you need any help with it. Okay, have a great Christmas and I'll talk to you guys very soon.